Yeah. Hey. Hmm. See you in the mood for some turkey? Sure. Not turkey. I mean, food from turkey. No, I want turkey. No, we're having food from turkey. Yeah, we're having snacks from turkey today. <laughs> Howdy fellow foodie friends, who's your daddy and who's your mama here? Thanks for joining us. Before we get started, if you like snack tastings and food reviews and cooking videos, food challenges, things like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any of the fun and you can be part of the Who's Your Daddy family. So, we are trying another box from Universal Yums today. Now, if, you're, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know we've been doing Universal Yums boxes for a while. But we were going to stop because we got a repeat box from Spain. So we switched to a company called Snack Crate. And we found out this next month, Snack Crate is sending us a box from Spain. So <laughs> we decided we're going to go back and forth from Snack Crate and Universal Yums to see which countries we haven't done yet. But this month, we got a box from the country of Turkey, Yay. which we, we've never done before. Turkey. So if you're not familiar with Universal Yums, they are a subscription box company that sends you a box of snacks from a different country every month. And if you want to get your very own Universal Yums box, all you have to do is check the description box down below. There's a link you can click on when you're done watching this video and you can order your very own Universal Yums box. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what's in here. All right, they give you this cute little sticker. It says, I had yum kebabs in Turkey. And then you get this little map that shows a map of the country. Places like Izmir, Bursa, Istanbul, Ankara. I think Ankara was in Indiana Jones. And if you go to the back side of this, it has a place where you can rate all the snacks to see which one's your favorite, which one's the worst and the weirdest. And then there's also a place to show you different snacks that you can order off the website. If you want to order, order these like a la carte, you can get those off the website. We've done that before with some of our favorites. Yes. And then this is the cool part. You get this booklet that has all kinds of cool information in it. All about turkey and about the companies that send us the snacks. There's Turkey in 60 Seconds. Talks about Muslim whirlers. And the word shish kebab comes from turkey. And they've got recipes in here. This one is for Turkish stuffed eggplant. That looks pretty cool. There's also some trivia questions and there's some information about all of the snacks that we're gonna try. And there is some nutrition facts for all the snacks. Then there's a list of some famous Turkish people and a little Mad Lib from a Turkish poet named Nazim Hikmet. And then there's some more information about Turkish breakfast says their breakfast, the word for breakfast is kavalti, which literally means before coffee because they always have coffee after their breakfast. And then there's another recipe for a yogurt drink, which is basically just yogurt, water, and salt. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> okay. And then it says that Turkish coffee isn't just famous for its taste. It's also famous for its role in tassiography. Tassiography is telling your fortune based on the leftover grounds in the bottom of your coffee. I've seen people do it in movies, yeah. Interesting. Then there's some cool, interesting stuff about Turkish baths. And then on the back of this, it just has some more information about where you can go online to order more snacks. All right. Well, you ready to get started? I've been ready for a while. <laughs> okay. We are going to start with the savory things. They give us a mix of savory and sweet, so we save the sweet till the end. First up is pop-out rice cakes. It looks like they're flavored honey mustard and onion. All right, so these just look like little rice cakes that we get at Walmart every week. I've never seen honey mustard flavor. No, nope, we get chocolate, apple cinnamon, and caramel. Hmm. That's pretty good, though. I like these. I'm not usually a big fan of rice cakes. Yeah, those have a good flavor. Mm. They're good. Yeah, those are pretty tasty. I think I give those about an eight. Eight. All pretty right. Pretty good. Pretty good. Before we get to the next one, you'll have to forgive us. If you're from Turkey and you know how to pronounce any of this stuff, let me know down in the comments because we don't know how to speak this. So I'm sure I'm going to mispronounce a lot of these products. So just <laughs> bear with me. This one 
is Crispy Turtickly F. Sunny Taco Baharat Sesnili. Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what any of that means, except I know the word taco. Spice Cracker Crisp, seasoned with Turkey's famous spice blend. It's Baharat, a blend of spices that's popular all across the Middle East. So I guess it's not taco flavored. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, they are more like a cracker than a chip. They taste just kind of like a really flavorful, cheesy cracker. I don't even know if that's cheese in it, but it kind of tastes cheesy, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Mmm. These are good. I like those a lot. These would be good um, with a tuna salad on them. Yes. There's a lot of seasoning on these. A lot. That Baharat seasoning, I don't know what that is, but that's good. I think it tastes a little chili powder. Mm -hmm. That's really good. I like that. I give that a nine. I'll agree. Yes. Next up. Some auto nuts. Yellow chickpea nuts. They look like little bitty dried up chickpeas. Well, aren't those cute? Salted roasted chickpeas. Oh, those are soft. They are. I That's thought weird. I thought it was going to be crunchy. Mm-hmm. Not a lot of flavor. Like, nope, don't like that. They taste kind of like stale peanuts that have gotten soft. Yeah. Gotten too much moisture in them. Yes. I don't like the consistency. The flavor is okay, but I don't like how soft it is. How it just kind of squishes between your teeth. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. Just because of the consistency. I'm not big on the flavor either. I, it's just uh, salt. It needs more salt. It needs more flavor of some sort. I probably only give those about a four. Put some of the Baharat seasoning on those and those would be. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. All right, now for the last savory thing, we have something called List Nuts. Paprika flavored corn nuts. Oh, they're hot paprika. Right. So these look kind of like corn nuts. Yeah, they, they look exactly like corn nuts. Mm. This says that on the Black Sea coast, a mountainous area in northern Turkey known as corn country... You must do like the they do in corn country and eat corn. Did you say K O R N corn country? I did. He's <laughs> singing the song from a country music station here. These are pretty good. <laughs> and I'm not a fan of spicy hot stuff, but these aren't bothering me. They're not really spicy, even though it says hot paprika. They just taste like a good corn nut. Mm-hmm. These are good. Very good. I like those. I give those a nine, too. I like those a lot. 92? Nine also. Um, <laughs> yeah, nine for me also. Very crunchy. Can you tell? All right, sweet stuff. You ready for some sweet stuff? I guess so. <laughs> Hot stuff. So next we have something called tahini halva, vanilla flavored. Now, tahini is something that's made from ground sesame seeds. I don't think I've ever had it before. I, well, tahini is what you put in hummus, right? Yeah. When I make hummus, I make tahini first. So this is a sweet tahini. What What's halva? Doesn't say. Hmm. So I guess halva is just this type of dessert. They have all different flavors. We got vanilla tahini flavored. Okay, that looks like a, just a big block, like a dense white block. Almost like a zero candy bar. But it's real brittle inside. It breaks apart really easy. That's different. Very, very soft. Kind of melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. But it almost has a savory element to it. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's because of the sesame seeds. Yeah. The vanilla is not as strong as I thought it would have been. I thought it would have been sweeter. It has a really thick, kind of nutty flavor that is not sweet. I think, as Americans, we're used to super sweet things. So... Other countries, they just have stuff with a little bit of sugar. Because <laughs> this doesn't taste sweet to me at all. Mm, it tastes a little bit sweet. But it tastes like it might be sweetened with honey. Not sugar. I don't know. That's different. That's very unusual. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. It's not, not bad. Not what I was expecting. Very nutty. Very. And very, like, thick. And almost creamy once you start eating it. I'd say I'd give that about a... Six and a half? Yeah, six. On to something that looks like something we have here in the U.S. 
It's a new today's snowball with coffee cavelli. And I like coffee flavored. We have snowballs here, like hostess snowballs. Ooh, I can smell the coffee already. Now, our snowballs that we have here in the U.S. are covered with coconut. I'm not sure what this is covered in. It looks like coffee. little... Is it coffee or is it coffee sprinkles? But it looks like a ding-dong inside. It's got a little cream filling. You look like a ding-dong. You look like a ding-dong. <laughs> Very coffee-y. Yeah. Coffee and chocolate. It's got mm. a... It really does kind of remind me of a ding dong more than a snowball, but covered with the coffee sprinkles on the outside. And with a white chocolate mixture. Yeah. And then there's icing on the inside and just chocolate cake. It's very good. It tastes like a ding dong with coffee mixed in. But the coffee has kind of a coconut consistency. Yeah. There might be coconut in it. I don't know. But it, it's yep. good. Oh, it is Contains coconut. coconut. Okay. So it is similar to our Hostess Snowballs. It, I'd probably give that one about a 9. I like coffee flavored stuff. That's good. 10. Oh, you give that a 10? Wow. That's pretty good. Alright, next up we have something called Torku Miniki Turtikik. Pordok Al... I, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it yet. Oh, oh, orange and chocolate cookies. Ooh. I love orange and chocolate mix. It looks like it's just a little butter cookie with orange jelly in the middle and then chocolate sprinkles on top. It's like something you would have with afternoon tea. Cheers. I don't have afternoon tea, so. <laughs> Maybe dip it in your tea. Have it with high tea. Would it count if I was drinking iced tea? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, those are actually pretty good. Yes. They're like a shortbread cookie with an orange jelly filling and topped with uh, chocolate sprinkles or... If you're in England, you call them hundreds and thousands. <laughs> that's, that's good. I, I like don't them. taste chocolate, though. I just taste the cookie and the orange. I think the only chocolate comes from the sprinkles on the top. Yeah, and sprinkles have never had a flavor to me. They're not very strong. Mm -mm. But it's very mild fla uh, flavored. But it's good. I like it. I'd give those probably about a seven. Mm, eight for me. Okay. I think they're very good. I like the orange and chocolate combination. I wish the chocolate was stronger. Mm -hmm. but yeah, still pretty good. All right. On to some lush cocoa cream cookies. So these are more cookies, but they look like they're filled with chocolate. There's more tahini in these. Tahini, hazelnut, and cocoa. This says that Turkey is the world's number one producer of hazelnuts. So these are like little pinwheel cookies okay. with a hazelnut cream in the middle. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Kind of dry. It's like a like a shortbread cookie filled with Nutella, pretty much. Yes. Mm -hmm. I give those probably an eight. Sure, eight. Those would also be good with high tea or afternoon tea. Or iced tea. Or iced tea. <laughs> or Mr. T. I like <laughs> Mr. T. I do like Mr. T. What's your favorite kind of tea? Let me know down in the comments. <laughs> and I pity the fool that don't like tea. <laughs> All right, next up is, ah, I'm excited about these. These are watermelon gummies. They are from a company called Babito, and they're made with real fruit juice, so they should be good. Watermelon gummies, hi. Watermelon gummies, hi. hi. Oh, and they look like little uh, slices of watermelon. Jelly gummies, yamasak. Yamase, yamasa, yamaku sack. <laughs> I don't say that. No. Very chewy. Good. Here in America, when they flavor things with watermelon... It's artificial. It's artificial and it doesn't taste like real watermelon, but this does. That does. I, yeah, I'm not big on fake watermelon stuff mm -mm. that much, but you can tell it's made with real fruit juice. That's good. I like that. I just wish it was a little softer. i give those probably an eight and a half. Okay. Eight and a half. Yeah. Now we have another gummy candy. It's ice cream flavored. And this Ooh. is also made with fruit juice. Blueberry, strawberry, and vanilla creaminess. Ooh, nice. Oh, Look at that. They're all vanillas. One strawberry. Hey, look. The strawberries look different. Oh, yeah. And one blueberry. They smell chocolatey. That's weird. You ate yeah. the blueberry part. It's just colored blue. The whole thing should be blueberry flavored. 
Blueberry's good. I think because they're supposed to taste like ice cream, there's a very creamy flavor to them. So the fruit flavor is not real strong. Mm-hmm. And they're, they are softer than those other gummies, though, which is weird because they're made by the same company. But those others were kind of rolled in sugar, so they had... The watermelon had like a like a gumdrop texture on the outside. These are soft, more like gummy bears. Mm-hmm. They all no, taste exactly the same. They taste slightly different. No, they don't. I think those are good, though. Your mind is playing tricks on you. It might be. But it is. Those are good. I give those a nine. I like those a lot. I'm just giving them a seven. Oh, so you like the watermelon ones better? Mm-hmm. Okay, now for our penultimate thing. They give us this thing called a yum bag that they put a bunch of little candies in, and it's usually an assortment of different flavors. So in this one, we got two types of candy. We got something called Toffix Mellow Mellow, and then we got another Toffix Mastic. I don't know what those flavors are. So this one is melon and lime. Oh. So Mellow Mellow is melon and lime. And this one is, oh, dripping off the trees in the island of Chios, you'll find something fantastic, mastic. While locals are obsessed with the gummy sap and all of its refreshing piney glory, they put it in everything from liqueurs to foods to cosmetics. So this is called mastic, which is sap from a tree. Okay. It's like a... I don't know, like a starburst consistency, maybe? Kind of... Bit of honey? Hmm. Ah. Wow. It tastes like a pine tree. That's weird. That. Oh. <laughs> no. Nope. No. It tastes like you're eating sap. It really does. Mm -mm. It tastes like sap from a pine tree. I kind of like it. That's gross. It's what I imagine a pine cone would taste like. Not the consistency, but the flavor. <laughs> I did not like that at mm. all. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> zero point zero. I give it a five. It's all right. Ew. And this other one, this is melon and lime. This will probably be better. Okay, I hope so. It's cool. It looks like the melon is in the middle and the lime is on the outside. I guess you can have that one. It tastes like... Pine cleaner and lemon cleaner mix. <laughs> Tastes like I'm washing out my mouth with lemon pine salt. Yeah, maybe you should have washed out your mouth before you eat that. I think that one's good. I like that one even better. The melon and lime together. Nope. That's good. I, I give that about an eight and a half. Me no likey. Mm -hmm, two. Really? Yes. Melon and lime? Wow. Okay, now for the final one. These look pretty good. Oh, they are delights date filled cookies so they look like fig newtons it's not a cookie it's a newton only they're date flavored instead of fig flavored mm. it looks exactly like a fig newton it tastes a lot like a fig newton too and it tastes just like it it's a date newton they're pretty good fig newtons have um a little bit of crunch to them mm-hmm these are a little softer. These are softer and not as tangy of a flavor. Not as bold of a flavor. They're more mild. Yes. They're still good, though. Just a mild, little bit blander, softer Fig Newton. Yeah. But those are good, and I like those. I give mm -hmm. those about an eight. Sure. Eight. All right. So out of all of these snacks, which one was your favorite? Mm, that's easy. The... Oh, the corn nuts? Mm hmm The hot paprika corn nuts? Those were really good. I think I like these. The crackers, the um, Baharat flavored crackers, those are really good. They were both good, but I like the crispiness of these. Now, the... No, crunchiness. The weirdest was definitely that pine sap flavored... Mastic toffee. Yeah, those, those are really weird. Like you're licking a pine cone. Actually, this is weird too. This um, halva... Mm -hmm. That was equally weird. The tahini candy bar. Yeah. Weird. Tahini halva vanilla flavor. Now, the, what was the worst? You would say the mastic mm -hmm. toffee. Yes. Yeah. These auto nuts yellow chickpea 
dried chickpeas. These were my least favorite. These were gross. <laughs> I think Turkish savory snacks are better than their sweet snacks. Yeah. Yes, I agree. But overall, that, that wasn't too bad of a box. So if you want to get your very own Universal Yums box, don't forget to uh, click the link down in the description below. Also, don't forget to hit that like button while you're down there. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the fun. And don't forget to check out all my social media. I'm on Facebook and TikTok and Instagram, all of that. That's all down in the description as well. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.